Dr. Popper, one of the things I hear from people is they're afraid of radiation therapy. Is that a false sense of fear and what can you do or say to calm those fears? Well, it's very funny because actually for the past 30 years, almost the first thing I tell the patients is, this is not going to make you sick. Patients, they hear of radiation therapy and they always get scared. They think of Hiroshima, Nagasaki, and uh, in terms of uh, therapeutics, they think of chemotherapy. They think of nausea, they think of vomiting, they think of losing their hair, terrible fatigue. Well, what we do is, I, I, I tell them right away that what we're doing is a very superficial treatment. They won't get sick from it. They can keep up their daily activities. The worst they get is some irritation in the skin around where the tumor is. And uh, it's not anything like what they see in the movies. I say it's actually very boring, they're gonna see. It's a very boring type treatment. Uh, in terms of, the, they may wonder after the first few treatments whether anything was really being done. After a little while, they might get a little bit of a reaction, but often they'll have very mild reactions and uh, they'll question whether, then, whether the machine was on even. Why, um, some people will say, no, I'd rather have surgery than radiation therapy, therapy because they fear the long term effects of radiation therapy down the road that it will lead to cancer. What are your uh, thoughts on that? Well, there have been tons of studies on uh, whether superficial radiation therapy actually causes cancer or not. And it's, uh, it's very difficult to ever prove because you have to realize that once you've got a cancer in your skin, you've got sun damaged skin. You've already proven that you've got a higher likelihood of getting another cancer. And even most surgery patients will at times get a recurrence in their surgery area, in the surgical bed, where they were told there were no cancer cells and a lot of that's because the new skin that was put together has abnormal cells that eventually become cancer or because the graft that's placed on it, um, it develops a cancer. So, you know, we have the same risks, but if you look over the long term, uh, really it's absolutely minimal. I mean, it's, uh, it's a minimal risk and if it does occur, it would be another skin cancer and it would be very easy to take care of.